Next up is Amazon's brand new comedy that reteams Simon Pegg and Nick Frost of a fashion. This is called Truth Seekers. Would you mind, Matt? It's created by um, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, along with uh, James Serafinovich and Nat Saunders. It stars Nick Frost as Gus Roberts, a man who installs broadband and is also obsessed with the paranormal. Looks into the sort of the bizarre bits of his of his job and and looks for signs to other worlds in things that others would miss. In this first episode, um, he is teamed up with a character called Elton, who we later find out his surname is John. Uh, is. Played by Samson Ko, uh, who is the sort of naive junior and slowly discovers what's going on. You know what the Gus, Gussie's world is below the surface. Simon Pegg pops up from time to time as Dave, Gus Boss at the uh, broadband company, and um, Malcolm McDowell on a stairlift <laughs> as, uh, as Gussie's dad. Um, Luke, what did you think? Oh, oh. I found this hard going, properly hard going. It's half an hour. I didn't think any of the jokes particularly landed. I didn't. I think Nick Frost is very talented. I always look forward to seeing him in things but for this for for me this is just nick frost playing nick frost it wasn't mm. it didn't add anything to his cv for me this i just found it all very boring and i couldn't wait for it to be over and i know that's wrong of me to say for me it was an ex- another example of great talent that i admire and respect just not working at the top of the game and delivering something that just felt a little bit bland a little bit like something itv2 would have had on i actually mm-hmm. preferred uh we talked a long time ago about ghosted which was, ghosted, a similar, I was going to compare it to ghosted. similar premise with craig robinson and adam scott i think it was two years ago now or maybe time has no meaning anymore but it was a while ago and that had similar themes and two central male performances and i enjoyed that i found that funny and that was heightened and silly this always, almost for me in this first episode, which admittedly was the only one I watched, took itself very seriously. It was quite down and gloomy. It wasn't wasn't zany or anything like that. And I think it needed to be. It needed to be lifted up and sort of heightened for me to really get on board with it. Instead, I found it rather plodding and boring. And um, Samson Ku, Susan, you know, Susan Wormacher. Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, these people we know are all capable of so much and together they've just created something that I found surprisingly dull. It just feels like something I've seen before. Yeah. There doesn't it's seem original. No, it no. doesn't seem to be feel and as you say, you know, even though it's on Amazon, it feels like it's a Dave original or a ICV two original. The the sort of the big build up was that this woman's house was sort of haunted by her dad and, and the the end almost gag of her inhabiting the dog and that was never followed and I was like mm. are you just going to leave it there I, I'm not going to be watching anymore I I don't feel like I know a, a great deal about Gus and I think reading on it does seem like his hunt for the paranormal is linked to something that happened previously but I think they could have added a little bit more see a little bit more of his relationship with his dad perhaps. You know, there's e, Malcolm McDowell only popped up in a couple of scenes where they were sort of sniping with each other and didn't really add anything to it for me. And I think this is one we'll forget about quite quickly. Yeah. I wonder as well, with, the, with these streaming shows, I wonder whether there's a, a level of presumption by, by Amazon, by Netflix, that because they're all there and because you've got 30 seconds to stop it before the next one comes, whether there's just this assumption that It doesn't really matter how good the first one is because people will just watch on because it's all there. So if there's a if there's something in the first episode that interests them, they're going to keep going. But as a as a first episode, I just found it quite slow, dreary. It it wasn't didn't feel like a comedy to me. The gags didn't land. There was nothing unique about it. It could have been on years ago, a couple of years from now, when Simon Pegg and Nick Frost team up again. I can imagine us saying, "What was that last thing they were mm. in? It was on Amazon. It was, what was that? Called? You know, and it's, you shouldn't feel like that with with this sort of talent at no. the helm." 
but it, and it I really... think as well the fact that every episode is written by four people may mean that it's all got a bit muddled you know it doesn't have a clear voice and I think maybe that's part of the reason for it that Peg Frost and the other two two writers are all um, chipping in and, and the result is it all feels just a bit messy and not focused enough Truth Seekers Amazon we're really uh, selling these shows this week I know God. So all there now should you wish to go in on that.